Well, this is hydrogen tap. Uh, this is interesting. And you know when I say interesting, something's going on, right? Well, what you're looking at here is distilled water between two plates a sixteenth of an inch apart. That is very interesting, wouldn't you say? Well, it's not exactly uh, cooking up pressure, as we say, but uh, it's definitely making hydrogen. Oh, what is that you say? It's 108 volts DC. I assume that was your question. Well, that's uh, an interesting surprise. Got it to 115 volts DC. I'm going to bring it back down here a little bit. See if there's a magic number. Which really strange is it was totally unintentional. I was wiring it up and suddenly. Wow. I'm down to 90 volts. That's distilled water. Pretty interesting. So why, huh? What the heck is going on here? I will tell you this is voltage, not amperage, but I'm going to measure the amperage here in just a second. I'm measuring uh, 0.44 amps, so there is amperage. What I'm going to do is try to cut that down. Just a second here. Well, no, let's let it go for a minute see what happens here. So I'm running a half an amp, not a half an amp, 0.43 at 80 seven volts distilled water no electrolyte two plates one sixteenth of an inch apart I'm going to try to bring that amperage down here okay I, I uh, I have some more work to do on this, obviously. I'm not pulsing it right now. And that's my next step. But uh, what you're looking at here is 105 volts at 0.47 amps. No electrolyte. One sixteenth of an inch space, two stainless steel plates. It's there uh, three by, I believe they're three by eight. Quite interesting. The interesting part of this is the fact that we're getting any hydrogen at all because at a hundred volts there's no way it's jumping across not to my knowledge uh, I could be wrong I've been wrong a couple of times before but uh, I do not believe the there's anything jumping through the water 
that's distilled water you're looking at. Now there is a couple possibilities that uh, would negate this whole thing and the only way I can test this out is to put more distilled water in there. And that is that there's enough contaminants in here just from the stainless steel right now to turn that into a type of electrolyte. But I don't believe that's so. So we're getting hydrogen theoretically at this point with two plates distilled water which means that the plates have become capacitors. I'm running at 0.47 amps. Straight DC at 104 volts. Now, of course, the key would be to get rid of the 0 0.47, 0 0.48, bring that down to nothing. I think I can do that. I have one or two pieces of electronics between it right now, which I'm not going to go into to bring the amps down. I don't know whether they're bringing the amps down or not. But I do not believe there is any way the voltage is going through that water. I think what we're doing is separating the water molecule. There's your top view. I believe we're very, very close here. If you want to write me at John Aarons at HydrogenTap.com, you'll know if you've talked to anybody. I answer all the email I get, unless it's something in it that's distasteful to me. Once in a while, I do get that. I'm not a prude. I just do not like over-enthusiastic people. We can put it that way. If you call me names, if you... yell and scream by capitalizing your letters. I do not answer and chances are I will block you. I know you can get back through another account. It doesn't really matter. I don't fool with people who aren't interested. You can write me at John Aarons at HydrogenTap.com. You can go to my site HydrogenTap.com. On that site you can click on YouTube and you can see the videos that I've made in order with the latest videos first. I know a lot of people are trying to do that. If you go there, it will show you the latest videos first. I've left all my videos on the hydrogen system from the very get-go. Number one video is still there to show you all the trial and tribulations to get where I am. I was going to take them off, but like one of the people told me they're learning from my mistake. That's a good idea. For now I'm going to leave them all up there. You might want to take while you're on my site a look at the focus cell. That's the cell that I have. It has really evolved into a nice cell. And uh, it takes very, very little electrolyte, actually about a, a quarter teaspoon of lye per gallon to run it. I'm going to work this system out and we're going to have a true system running. The focus will be running without amps. I am going to make that happen. Or someone will beat me to it but I'm certainly working on it here in the lab. Again, you're looking at two plates 
a sixteenth of an inch apart stainless steel no electrolyte hundred and five volts at 0.4 amps.